Hey, hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back to Just Add Music and Life, and this is another and life part of it. Um, I have another audition, so I thought I'd bring you guys along. It's for a makeup company, actually, which is a little, you know, out of my comfort zone. I mean, I can do makeup, but I'm not like a professional. And for all my artists out there, or just, you know, whomever's out there just, you know, going on an audition, I thought I'd bring you along and kind of show you like the process of how I'm doing it and the auditions that I get called for so, so keep watching so first thing in the audition um, they want you to slate yourself so that's the first thing you're gonna see me do I'm going to slate which is my name the city that I live in um, they want me to do a, um, a thing on the shade of makeup that they chose for me we had to do a survey for the shade of makeup that they would choose for us and I did the survey so they want me to put the number of the shade of makeup and so yeah that's gonna be the first thing you see me do so hi my name is Philanda I live in New York City and the shade of foundation that I received from the quiz was number 215 I would say I am maybe medium at applying makeup so that was the first part that I did I had to slate my name the city that I lived in and the number of the foundation that they chose for me from a quiz we took and as well what level do I think I am with applying makeup the next part of the audition is just me applying the makeup and telling them what my imperfections are I just start out with a clean face no makeup so this is my clean face <laughs> no makeup look and yeah this is me in the raw so the next part of the audition is I have to apply the makeup and I have to point out my imperfections as I apply the makeup and they want me to pretend like I'm running out of the door possibly to see an old love or you know love interest so I'm doing a quick you know go to makeup routine in case I run into my boo <laughs> that I will look on point so the first thing I like to do when I'm applying my makeup, um, and I gotta do this quickly because I'm going to run out the door and I'm hoping that you know I run into somebody and if I do, I do, if I don't, I don't, but either way, I'll be on point. So um, the first thing I like to do is start out with a concealer because I have dark circles around my eyes and I like to conceal those circles. So the first thing I do is I apply a little concealer on the bottom of my eye and on the top of my eye like so and this is pretty much what I do to start out with when I'm doing my makeup and then I take my beauty blender and I blend it all in sometimes I'll let this sit um, and it'll get a little tacky and to me it just performs better when it's been sitting for a minute it gets a little more solid so sometimes I'll let this sit but yeah I have dark circles and the dark circles I mean I'm not uncomfortable with any of my flaws I have them um, but we all have them and like the saying goes beauty is in the eye of the beholder but you know if I'm gonna be running out I want to look super cute just in case I run into someone special. So after I do my concealer, I like to go in with my foundation. Um, some of my go-to products are Maybelline, the Fit Me Maybelline product. I like these because um, it doesn't give me as full of a coverage as I would like, but um, I do it anyway. And I start out by just pushing it back onto my face as such. And it makes a little circle and it kind of gives me enough as I'm doing my makeup and after I finish putting it on like this what I'll do is I'll take my foundation brush and I'll just work it all in and this gives me like a medium coverage I could definitely get more coverage out of it but it gives me like a medium coverage so I'm satisfied with it other products um haven't really worked for me you know Mac is a little too heavy for me but Maybelline is some of my favorite ones but you know I like MAC too Maybelline is, is one of my go-to products though and I just rub it in as such all over now once I get this all rubbed in I have to hurry here this is just my quick go-to makeup routine so I get it all rubbed in 
evenly as evenly as possible and after that I go in doing my brow my brow is a little difficult right now because they're growing in so I give it a little brush a little brush up as such and then I go in with a little pencil and I just lightly very lightly shade it in and just give it a little darker tone and I'll do a couple strokes in the front and this is just my quick makeup go-to routine like this is what I would do like I'm doing now for a quick run out and my imperfections with my brows are they're very thin from the years of waxing so I like to fill them in sometimes heavy sometimes light for a quick go-to light is fine and that'll give me the brow mostly that I'm looking for and I'm satisfied with that so after I go into doing my brows when I'm finished with that I will go in with my finishing powder and that's an elf product I also really like elf products um, one for the affordability and two they don't suffocate my skin so I go in with elf product now I do have acne scarring on my cheeks and I have acne scarring on my forehead so with the foundation that usually covers that for me I try to just you know get it as covered as possible so a full cover foundation is really what I need when I'm going for a heavier makeup look so after I go in with my finishing powder I go in with my uh, concealer to contour just a little bit on my brow just to clean it up a little when they're not clean I go in with a little concealer take my beauty blender and I blend that out just to give it a little sharpness when I haven't been able to <laughs> I go in with my shadow so I'm going to be using a, doing a quick shadow look so first I'm gonna go with the base color and it's this light color right here this one the shadow is decadence so I go in with this light color it gives it a really good light base color to start like an empty canvas and I go in with that just quickly and after I go in with that I go in with this gold right here on top and this gives me a really pretty gold shine that I love very very pretty and I do that on both sides so yeah after I do that then I go in with this other gold on top of that and this palette has a lot of fallout but um, the colors are really pretty so I go in with this gold and then I go in with um, the bed, the hot, the darker gold on top, and as you can see, that gives it a really pretty look. The gold is very, very vibrant. And after I do that, I go in with mascara. So this helps to cover all the dark circles. I cover my my um my acne scars for the most part and I also have these laugh line here and like nothing's that funny so sometimes what I'll do with that is I'll go in with my concealer and I'll just go into the line where the lines are and then I'll blend it out with the beauty blender quickly as such and this is a quick little go-to these laugh lines are can sometimes age you even like the dimple sometimes the dimple gets too long and it'll age you so it's like oh, I don't know and then I'll take my finishing powder and I'll go on top of that 
and sometimes I'll layer that just depending on how deep I want the lash line to be covered and then I go in with my Maybelline once again and I will go with my makeup my Maybelline fit me loose powder and I will just hit my oily spots which are right here on my cheeks and then I'll go in under my eyes like such not too heavy but just a quick go-to makeup routine and I'll do a little on my forehead right here then I'll go in with a brush to just clean all of the baking off doesn't need to bake that long and I'll just brush it away And after that, I'll go in with mascara. And I love Benefit. I use Benefit as my brow and Benefit from my mascara. It's another one of my favorite products that I like to use is Benefit. So I'll go in with my Benefit mascara. And yeah, and that's pretty much the look. My lashes are a little thin, so I get extensions for the most part because it gives me the fill that I want and I don't have to apply them every day and this is my quick makeup look so yeah guys that was <laughs> that was the qu quickest video that I've ever done and this is the finished product <laughs> Um, so I hope you like it. It was just a quick vlog video behind the scenes to show you what I'm doing and how I'm putting this makeup on. And honestly, it's the video. The video has to be four minutes, and I'm gonna have to like try to squish that, edit that down into four minutes. But um, it's a little hard to do that when you're trying to rush and put everything on, and you know, shadow has a lot of fallout. So I don't know we'll see what happens um you know they contacted me from my profile they wanted me to do the audition and i was like sure why not you know i mean i apply makeup i'm not like a makeup guru or anything but of course i know how to apply makeup like you know look at this beauty <laughs> anyway thanks guys for watching um i hope that this was helpful for someone and i hope that this was um entertaining for others but you know subscribe to my channel we do music we do life. We got everything going on here. So subscribe to my channel and um, give this video a thumbs up. Give yourselves a thumbs up. Ring the bell so you know when I'm putting up another video. And I will see you in the next video.